This video is going to discuss non-breaking spaces and non-breaking hyphens. When you look at the document on the screen in the first sentence, you'll notice that the date is split between two lines. So the end of the first line says November 3rd, comma, and the next line has 2014. This isn't acceptable in, in professional correspondence. The way some people would solve this problem, they would actually place their cursor in front of November and they would do a shift enter in order to force a new line. This looks fine from a glance, but down the road if you decide to edit the document, you have a number of problems. For example, currently it says we would like to invite you to the open house. Let's say you decided to insert the words the open house for our new branch office. Notice that now the entire date and the rest of the line would fit up above but because you force that new line with the shift enter keystroke, it's not going to wrap properly. This would require additional editing and that you'd have to go in and delete that shift enter, apply any necessary spacing in order to get it to wrap properly again. Not the greatest solution. Let's go ahead and undo that. The better solution would be have been to use a non-breaking space rather than a space. In order to see the difference clearly, we're going to go ahead and turn on our show hide with the paragraph marking from the home mark from the icon from the home ribbon. Spaces, when the show hide is on, appear as small little squares or dots in between the words. I'm going to go ahead and remove the space between November 3rd and the year and instead of a space I'm going to use control shift space. Notice that the space looks like a little degree symbol. This is called a non-breaking space. I'm going to have to do the same thing here between November and 3 so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the space that's currently there and I'm going to do a control shift space. Again it looks like a little degree symbol when the show hide is on. When the show hide is off it looks just like any other space but the difference is that any editing that's done to the paragraph this will wrap properly. We would like to invite you to the open house for our new branch office. Notice that the November 3rd wrapped because it is still part of the paragraph. It wasn't broken off into a new line. Another example of when we would want to not allow something to split at the end of the line would be somebody's name. Their first and last name should be on the same line. So again, there is a space there now, which I'm going to delete and replace it with Control Shift Space. You hold down the Control Shift together while pressing the space bar. This looks like a space, but when the show height is on, you can clearly see that it's a little degree symbol there. Another example would be a telephone number. A telephone number should never be split at the end of a line like this one is here. When the show hide is on, you can see the dashes appear as small, short dashes. I'm going to go ahead and delete the first dash, and instead I'm going to use Control Shift Dash. Notice with the show hide how it appears to be a very long dash. But when the show hide is off, it looks just like a normal dash. I'm going to do the same thing with the, the dash after the 555. I'm going to delete what's there and do a Control Shift Dash. Again, it looks very long when the show hide's on. With the show hide off, you can see it looks just as if somebody typed a dash. The difference is that it will remain together either on the previous line or staying on this line. For example, if you have any additional questions, let's take out regarding this order. Notice that it wrapped back to the prior line. All the control shift dash or control shift space are saying is do not break this word or words in this location. Keep this entire name together or this entire date together or the last one, this entire phone number together.